And with just these two exercises, your ankles can be strong as ever, flexible, and prevent ankle sprains, as well as helping you lift and jump your best. So let's go. Go Tip Tuesday. All we do is talk. Go Tip Tuesday. Boy, you don't want to jump. Go Tip Tuesday. Yo, my vert is going up. Go Tip Tuesday. And I do it for the love. Go Tip Tuesday. You know I do it for my subs. Go Tip Tuesday. And I can never get enough. Go Tip Tuesday. And I ain't never giving up. Go Tip Tuesday. Go Tip Tuesday. Let's get it. Today we're talking ankles. Quick story. I used to wear high tops and sprain my ankle every couple weeks. I used to have really weak ankles and I didn't know it at the time. Now I wear low tops and I actually wear these Vivo barefoot shoes when I train. That was a huge shift for me because early in my life playing basketball, I was wearing high tops spraining my ankle. I wondered how do people wear low tops and now I've converted myself to completely wearing low tops because it's healthier for my ankles, it helps them get stronger and now they're bulletproof. So I wanna give you some tips on how to recover from an ankle sprain if you recently had one and also how to prevent and strengthen your ankle's range of motion and so you can handle different jumps and prevent any injuries at all. So the feet get neglected a lot of the times. That's why I like to wear these shoes when I train because they're very connected to the ground. There's no cushion. I'm using my toes. I'm not elevated heels, tightening my calves. So there's a lot of benefits to these shoes. I don't dunk in these because they're a little low profile. I still need dunk shoes and basketball shoes to dump, jump in because I jump with a lot of power, but they do help me use my ankles a lot. So when I do lifts and I do squats, I'm using those ankles. So that's the key number one is strengthening your ankles. So this is stuff I wish I knew when I started my basketball career when I was a kid because it would have prevented a lot of ankle sprains and a lot of ankle injuries, putting me on the sideline. So now the main thing is simply barefoot or with these barefoot shoes, just standing still. If you stand on a pad like this, a pillow at home, or just standing on flat ground and holding it in this position, you'll start to feel the ankles working. And so that was a huge shift for me in my mindset because I realized, oh wow, there's stuff in there that can be strengthened and used. So at first you just want to stand still, and then when you get more advanced, you could start to use movement like this, touch behind, work on that balance, and it's using all the angles of your ankle, and you'll feel that burn. Do it for about 45 seconds to a minute, do multiple reps, and start increasing that if there's no pain. And even if you have an ankle sprain, it's a great safe way to stimulate that blood flow to help your ankle recover. Because the more blood flow you get in there, the faster it's gonna recover. Of course, if it's not anything more than a sprain or a low grade sprain, you can recover super fast. My ankle sprains would be like 10 days I'd be back playing, so that's huge. All right, so the only other thing you need is a band. A band will be fantastic. I have links on my website. You can grab these on Amazon, cheap. You don't have to get these really thick ones, but you can also use a towel at home, anything that can give some resistance. This is gonna be a great way to strengthen it even further and build that range of motion as well. So all you wanna do, very simple, is put it around the top of your foot, pull, and just flex it. Very simple. Again, feel it for reps. I'm really big on intuitive muscle building and I'm gonna do a whole podcast and video on that to understand what your body needs because that's the most key. If you can understand uh, how your muscles are adapting to what stimulus you're giving it, you can produce the results you want. But if you're just going by reps, you're not learning as much. So I want you to learn the most. So you do that, then you can tie it to your bed. So the, the band over there, I used to tie it to my bed. And the point is, then you could flex your foot this way. Now it's pulling this way. My hands are not flexible, this is a really strong band. And you're gonna flex it this way. So it's like this, right? So your foot's gonna be pulling this way, pulling it this way pulling it this way. The next one is to the side, just to the side, right? It makes sense. That's a lot of times where you roll your ankle, right? You land on somebody's foot and you land like this. So it's not about avoiding that. It's about strengthening your ankle in that position. And look at all that range I get. And then by doing this, your ankle is going to get more range of motion. So it's going to be stronger in that full range, which is the goal with every part of your body actually. And then of course the last side, I don't need to say it, but you go on this side as well. So you go to the inside, Woo! right? So I'm not really pulling it it's a lot easier when it's tied to a post, but you get the point, you could use a towel for this. This is a fantastic way to strengthen it. Do a ton of reps, very safe. You're not gonna overdo it, unless you freaking try to rip your foot off your body, which, but that's it. And now a bonus. All right, so those were directly ankle movements. Now we can do the tib raise, which is the tibialis raise, the muscles here. And a lot of people neglect this too. So if you have a strong tib, it's gonna help your knees as well, which is fantastic. Everything's connected, but if you can see that next piece of the puzzle would be your tib. So again, you're just gonna lean on the wall, a little bit of a slight bend and just do 30 or so reps. You could feel more too. Again, go with the intuitive feel, feel that burn and you're gonna, the stronger this, the better. It's gonna help you prevent those shin splints, knee problems. A lot of knee problems come from those weak tips, but also you're gonna feel it in the top of your ankles, which is just fantastic. So we're trying to get bouncy. Everything starts at the feet, ground up. Everything starts from the earth, body, 
mind, spirit, let's go. That's it, baby, that's Dunk Tip Tuesday. I got that question so much, so I hope that helps you with your ankles. Ask any questions you want. Let me know what you wanna see next week. Keep dunking, let's go. Dunk Tip Tuesday. All we do is dunk. Dunk Tip Tuesday. Boy, you don't wanna jump. Dunk Tip Tuesday. Yo, my bird is going up. Dunk Tip Tuesday. And I do it for the love. Dunk Tip Tuesday.